Hi there, today we are going to try to reproduce our favorite pizza from Franco Manca in a very simple way. For those of you that don't know Franco Manca, it is a quite affordable franchise of pizzerias in the UK that make delicious Napolitan style sourdough pizza. Their pizzas in the menu are numbered and today we will prepare number 5, which has mozzarella, anchovies, kalamata olives, garlic and oregano. We will skip the sourdough part and take a very easy approach. To prepare it, we just need patience and the right ingredients. You don't need special skills nor experience. Once you have the flour, yeast, water and salt in the bowl, mix ingredients with your hands or a spoon, just integrating them together. Some flours might take a bit more water. The dough must be quite wet. We are targeting a 70% hydration. Once the dough has taken all the water, Fold it three or four times and shape it as a bowl. Then cover the bowl with cling film and leave it to rest for around one hour at room temperature. We need the gist to start working. Now take it to the fridge and say goodbye until tomorrow. The day after, Take it out of the fridge around 3 hours before the time you'd like to eat it. You can leave it at room temperature for a few minutes. This stage is still too cold. Dust the bowl top with flour and carefully scrap the dough from the bowl. It is easier to use a scrapper. The dough is full of air now, which has been developing for the past 24 hours or so, so be gentle and don't push or press the dough at any time. This is enough for two medium sized pizzas, so cut the dough in half and make two balls. Just a reminder, be gentle when shaping them. The dough is sticky, but don't put too much flour, just a bit on the outside. At this point, you could freeze one of the dough balls to use it another day, if you want. Once the balls are ready, cover them with the bowl, preferably. Time to be patient again. We will leave them to proof for two more hours. You will need to preheat your oven at maximum temperature, so calculate the time so that it's hot when these two hours are over. Now our dough is ready and we just need to stretch it. It is very important to be soft when manipulating it. We will start by dusting it, creating a thin flour layer on the top. The dough is stuck to the worktop, but we will use that to start stretching. Get some flour in your fingers and just flip a bit of the border up. Then start pressing the center and bringing all the air to the borders. Very carefully start lifting it, taking advantage of the stickiness to stretch it a bit. Be careful not to touch the border, grab it from the flattened area. Once you lift it, flip it over and again dust a thin layer of flour. Then keep pushing the air from the center to the border.
start stretching carefully by pulling the sides. The other way is to hold it and rotate it and let gravity do the work for you. You can see how soft the dough is at this point. It is time to put it in a pizza peel or a flat tray if you have or in a pizza tray. We will start adding a thin layer of tomato puree, grated tomato or passata and a drizzle of olive oil. The important thing is that it must be raw tomato, don't use any sauce here. We are going to bake it in two stages. First, we will start baking the dough and cooking the tomato for three minutes. Since we cannot get the same temperature as in a pizza oven at home, we will ensure the tomato loses water and the dough gets cooked and the rest of the ingredients won't get burned. If the bottom of your oven is flat, just put the pizza there. If not, put it the closest to the bottom. You can use air, but we will turn it off so that the pizza doesn't get dry. Get the pizza out of the oven after 3 minutes. It is time to add the rest of the ingredients. You can add a mozzarella bowl or grated mozzarella. We will prepare one pizza with each type. Cut the garlic in very thin slices. Time to go back to the oven. We will cook it for 3 more minutes. That's it, time to eat! We hope you enjoyed this pizza. As we said, you just need patience to get a nice result. Don't cut on the proving times, it is definitely worth waiting. The results are amazing for homemade pizza. Tell us if you like it, how did it go for you or in case you have any questions. Enjoy it!